In front of me is the second new vehicle in the Genesis lineup. In case you missed it, last year Hyundai spun off a brand new luxury brand called Genesis and their first one was the G90 full-size flagship sedan. Now we have the G80 and this is the G80 Sport. One different thing the brand is doing is an all-in pricing. So whatever price you see there, that's it. There are no options. Everything is included, including five years scheduled maintenance service. But wait, there's more. That includes an at-home service, meaning they'll come to your house or your workplace, they'll pick up your car, they'll drop off a loaner for you, and they'll bring your car back, all for the one price. So how much is this G80 Sport? You're gonna have to watch and find out, but let me give you a hint. This is a steal of a deal for what you're getting. The outside of the G80 Sport looks very smart. In the front, you have a different sport appearance grill. You can see the tasteful use of black chrome throughout the vehicle, as well as trims of copper. Look at these center caps on these 19-inch alloy wheels. The Sport also comes with LED lights all around, including adaptive LED lights in the front. In the back, you get a sporty rear valence along with quad exhaust tips. The trunk is also equipped with a proximity feature, meaning if the trunk is locked when you walk up to it, if you stay there for three seconds, it'll automatically open and it is a power trunk. Inside you'll find ample cargo room. Of course it has to pass the family test, especially on a long weekend trip. Let's see how much stuff we can put in it. Inside of the G80 is where it gets a little bit crazy, and I mean crazy. I'm going to list off a whole bunch of features that the interior has. It's just such a full loaded vehicle. Okay, let's start with the door. Let's go on this side. First of all, this carbon fiber, it's not a carbon fiber look, that's real carbon fiber. You have beautiful Napa leather inserts in the door panels, and then throughout the cabin you'll notice this nice stitching. It's that same copper color that's found on the outside as well. When you open the door, even the aluminum door sill, they even light up. Then you get to the steering wheel, of course, leather wrapped steering wheel with that nice stitching, heated by the way. Behind there, you have your uh, customizable TFT display. Onto the center, you have a 9.2 inch infotainment screen, comes with Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, as well as navigation. You have a backup camera with a 360 view as well. Here's one thing that I really can't show you, so you'll just have to take my word for it. This has a 17 speaker, 900 watt Lexicon stereo system. And I tell you, this is one of the best stereos that I've heard in years. At about half to three quarter volume, everything is so, so clear. It almost sounds like you're wearing good quality headphones. It's really that good. Do yourself a favor, if you go take one for a test drive, don't forget to listen to the system. This also comes with wireless charging if your device supports that. Then we come to the seats that we're sitting in. On the driver's side, 16-way power seats. On the passenger side, 12-way power seats with very nice bolstering. They're Napa leather and they're heated and ventilated as well. Onto the back, you get executive-like heated seats in that Napa leather. You really do get a VIP type of feeling being in this car. Even the carpet. The carpet is a nice high-dense pile carpet. Then you get to the top. You have this huge panoramic roof. I love how the shade opens like a clamshell on either side of it. It's really nice. And talk about the roof. It's all micro suede or Alcantara. Now remember, all of these things, and there's more too, come standard. Everything is standard. That's amazing. As soon as you get into the G80, one thing you notice right off the bat it's missing something. I don't know if you can guess it, but what it's missing, it's noise. It is so quiet. This interior, it's so well isolated. Uh, there's very, very little vibration or noise. Just listen, we are on uh, quite a busy highway right now. Lots of big trucks around, which are normally very loud. And let's just listen for a couple seconds here. It's a whisper quiet. Anyways, what is powering the G80 Sport? It's the same 3.3 liter twin turbo engine, 
from the G90 flagship sedan. And that puts out 365 horsepower and 376 pound-feet of torque. Now what's interesting though is if you go to the G80 with the V8, that engine puts out 420 horsepower and 383 pound-feet of torque, which means the six-cylinder in this puts out only seven pound-feet less of torque. And that's what you need in your day-to-day -day driving in the city. Also another benefit, that six-cylinder is thriftier on fuel, especially on the highway. And that goes to an eight-speed automatic transmission with paddle shifters behind the steering wheel. And all G80s come with the Genesis all-wheel drive system. And that's a predominantly rear wheel bias system and it can send up to 90% right to the rear. And that's gonna give it a more sporty dynamic feel. Now let's talk about the name Sport. I'm not sure if it belongs on this car. It, it's a very special car. I love the, the different look on the outside. I love the way it's finished. I love the engine, but really, it's not really a sports car. It's, it's a very, very well-equipped, great touring cruising car. While we're on the topic of sport, there is a drive mode button. You can go eco, normal, and sport. And when you hit sport, it livens it definitely up. It changes the steering parameters a little bit, and also it adjusts the transmission. Suspension-wise, the G80 Sport gets the GACS, or Genesis Adaptive Control Suspension. Basically, it's an adaptive suspension system, and that comes standard on this vehicle. The most amazing thing about this G80 Sport, though, it's the value. So, you get everything in one package, and I didn't mention, this has all the advanced safety and driving aids as well. It has a radar cruise control, lane keeping assist, cross traffic alert, you name it, it's got it, and all of that comes standard. There is only one trim level, and there's only one price, $62,000 for everything that you see. Let's compare it to something similar, and that would probably be like a BMW 540i with the X-Drive with all-wheel drive. If you equipped one of those 5 Series to the same level equipment that this comes with, you're looking at probably mid 80s, probably about 85, 86 thousand dollars compared to this at 62. So it's a bargain. This 3.3 liter twin turbo engine is a gem. It is smooth as we talked about, but on demand, it opens up and it goes. It really, really goes. For a large sedan like this, uh, yeah, you have zero, zero issue passing anybody. I think Genesis has done it again. I think they're two for two. I was a big fan of the G90 and now a big fan of this G80 as well. And it's just gonna be a matter of time before people try them out and realize what kind of performance and luxury and value you get with these cars. And the best thing, Genesis is not stopping there. There's a lot of other things coming down the pipe in the future, including a new SUV.